sorry, Nick. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was me. Trust me, it wasn't just you. I thought those feelings had disappeared. It doesn't matter anyway. It's not like we can do anything about it. Yeah, not if I want to be a father to my son. Uh, Jack. Listen, mate, there's no shame in asking for help if you need it. Yeah, Dad, I know. And I will, I promise, when I need it. But right now, I'm just asking if you guys could all just back up a bit. I need to do things for myself. Poor Jack. Yeah. From what Martha said, it sounds pretty full on. It must be so scary. Mm. Imagine not knowing if you'll ever walk properly again. What time did you finish work this morning? Late. How late? Six. You did 15 hours straight. Don't worry, babe. I know I'm doing long hours, but I'm not going to let the pressure get to me this time, I can promise you that. Mm? Taking it, she's still not herself? Yeah. She's been like that since she got back from the hospital last week. I reckon it's got something to do with Belle. She was pretty cut up that she didn't even go and see her. Oh, I should go. My freeze nearly over. Oh. You talk to her. Try. So try again. Come. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. You going okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Really? You haven't been yourself since you got home. We've been through this. I know. Is it something to do with Belle? God, Mecca, I said I'm fine, okay? Can you just drop it? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm off. What time are you heading to the station? Uh, after lunch sometime. Well, I think you're doing the right thing going back, throwing yourself into something again. Although well, I guess there's some girl that you like's been keeping you occupied some of the time, right? Look, have you had a chance to speak to her again after we chatted last week? Because my advice still stands in these and... Damn it. She really makes you nervous, doesn't she? Oh. The mystery girl. Who else are we talking about? Look, yes, we talked and we both decided it'd be too complicated if we got into a relationship, so we're just not going there, you know? Even though you both like Yes, and I'd prefer not to talk about it, so... Okay, I'm sorry. There's nothing to feel bad about, Jack. There isn't. Accidents are to be expected when you're settling back in. It was never going to be easy. I'm completely useless. I pissed myself last night. I should just accept the fact that I can't do anything with myself. That's not true. Look at me, Jack. It's not true. You are as skilled and capable as you've always been. You just need to trust yourself again and you need to go easy. You'll get there in time. It's, it's a process. You've been doing so well and working so hard, I would hate for this to send you backwards. Hey, you trust me? Jack. Yeah. Then trust what I'm saying. You will get there. I'll make sure of it. You got a habit of talking me around when I'm being a self-indulgent idiot. It's all part of the job. Phone book. Where it always is? I just looked there, Macca. I'm not blind. If people would just put things back where they belong when they're finished with them, then we're not going to have this problem, are we? <sighs> Thanks. You're welcome. Take it, everything's still fine then. Man, just talk to me. I might be able to help. That's Peter. Has something else happened? He came to speak to me in the hospital last week. And? 
And he admitted that he likes me too. That's great, isn't it? Of course it's not. I mean, nothing's changed. We still can't be together. Does all that other stuff matter now? Yeah, it does. It just wouldn't work. It's right that we're staying away from each other. You really like him, don't you? Yeah. I do. It's some kind of poetic justice. The one man that can actually make me happy is the one person I can't have. So, what are you doing here anyway? I didn't think we had a session today. We don't. I have the morning free and I was passing, so I thought I'd drop in and say hi. Just as well, huh? Mm. So, I take it from what you were saying before that things haven't exactly been easy for you at home? No, not really. Everyone's trying really hard to be normal, but it's not easy for them. Which is, is understandable. I'd probably be the same if I was them. It's just, it makes it really hard, you know? It, if someone treats you like an invalid, it's tough not to start feeling like one. You do know you're not, though. Yeah, now. I'm just starting to feel a bit claustrophobic, I guess. Well, you should say something to them. I'm sure they'd understand. Hey, mate, we're home. Hey. Hey, hey, Sam. What do you think hey. we're seeing you today? No, it was a bit of an impromptu visit. Is everything OK? <sighs> yeah. I had a bit of an accident. Oh, what's the You okay? Jack? Guys, it's fine, okay? I just, I fell out of the chair. Oh, mate. Dad, it's okay. Sam found me, I'm not hurt, everything's fine. You or what if Sam hadn't turned up? <sighs> Come on, we should never have left you. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna cancel my classes for the rest of the day. No, it's easier for me to put off my second meeting. I can stay at home. Are you sure? Of course, I can ring you if there's a problem. Guys, can you please stop talking about me as if I'm not here? Actually, I was gonna suggest that Jack spend a few hours with me. Rory's got a pupil free day and I know he'd love to hang out with Jack. Sounds great. Oh, I don't know whether you're ready to go out, mate. Look, trust me, Dad, it's exactly what I need. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, fine. No complications. That's good. That, that's great. And you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay. Are you sure? Because that detox ended kind of abruptly. Amanda, don't worry. I'm, I'm not back on the pills, okay? Good. It's been kind of weird the last couple of days. We've gone from spending so much time together to not seeing you at all. I miss you, Pete. Me too. I should get going. Yep, sure. Amanda. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks for this. It's good to be outside again. I miss it. Any time. Hmm. Seriously though, you already do enough for me. You don't need to add babysitting to the list as well. Sorry. I asked you to come here because I consider you a friend as well as a patient and that's what friends do, all right? Cheers. Well, there's trouble. Thanks, sir. Hello, gorgeous. Oh. Hey, Jack. G'day, mate. How are you? Good. You hanging with us? Yeah, I mean, if that's okay. Yeah, we could. Do you want to play Game Boy? Yeah, bring it on. Ta. She's totally not herself, and Mac, I reckon she's been like that since she got home. And you're telling me this because... She's your mum. Not anymore, she's not. Belle. No. After the way she treated me, why should I give a stuff about her? <laughs> she nearly died last week. Look, I know she hurt you, but she's struggling right now, and a visit from you could make the difference. Can you honestly say you're not even a little bit worried?